If your gears aren't working perfectly when you're out riding, it's not the end of the world, but it is hugely frustrating. It might be that when you press your gear shifter, the gears don't move at all. It might be that you shift two gears when you only wanted to do one, or it might be that you'll change jumping on a particular gear when you sprint out of a corner or put your chain under load. However, rather than let it ruin your ride completely, why not just stop on the side of the road because it could be something that's very easy to fix. Problems with badly adjusted gears aren't just confined to people with old worn out bikes. It might be that you've purchased a new one recently or replaced the cables on your old bike and that they're not very well adjusted a couple of weeks later. And there's a reason for this. That is that the inner cable, the inner gear cable, despite being metal, will stretch over time in those first two or three weeks once you've used the bike. And when the cable stretches, it means it puts the front or the rear mech just slightly out of kilter. To find out if it is a cable stretch or cable tension issue, it's quite easy. First things first, put your chain onto the smallest sprocket on the rear wheel there, and then using your gear lever, just go up one gear. If you find it doesn't jump up a gear when you press the gear shifter, or you get that familiar chattering sound as it's trying to jump up onto the next biggest sprocket, and the likelihood is the cable tension needs to be more. And that's a very easy thing to do. Some old road bikes, you might find there's a barrel adjuster here by the cable stop if it's external routing. But almost all modern bikes, except of course electronic gears, you'll find a barrel adjuster here at the rear mech or rear derailleur. Now to increase the tension in the inner cable, you need to wind the barrel adjuster out, which of course means anti-clockwise. Just give it a quarter or a half a turn and try again. And just keep doing it it jumps up onto the next gear. Once that's happened, try it again onto the next biggest sprocket, still not quite going in smoothly. You can hear that chattering there as it's trying to jump up onto that sprocket. So once you've got up to the second sprocket there, try going back down to make sure that the adjustment's okay, going back down the other way. Sometimes easier just to get back on the bike and do this up and down the road. Now, if you get down to that smallest sprocket at the back, and you wind this barrel adjuster right the way out and it still doesn't give your cable enough tension to move it up onto the next sprocket. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to go back to basics and actually use a tool this time because we need to actually manually tighten the cable here where the bolt here closes it tight. So to do that, you'll need to reach into your pocket and grab the Allen keys that you took out with you. In general, you'll need a five millimeter Allen key. Again, put the chain all the way down into the very smallest sprocket at the back, push, the rear mech manually up the cassette at the back and what this will do is relieve even more tension and give you even more slack and that makes the adjustment we're about to do that a bit easier and undo the cable here it only needs to come through just slightly tighten it back up now when you turn your pedals hopefully it will still drop back into the smallest gear but there should be a bit more tension on this cable. You can see the action that's having on the rear mech there. That means that when you start pressing the gear up, it's going to move. So once you've got that cable tension back using that bolt, don't forget that you can make small adjustments using the barrel adjuster on the rear mech and that should fine tune your gears. Okay, if you find that your gears are very well adjusted and they're moving up and down the block nicely, but you can't get into the extreme big or the extreme small cog, well, it might be that you need to adjust the high and low adjusters on here. Now for this, you're going to need a screwdriver. I need a flathead. Now the H stands for high and that's for the small sprocket here. And the L stands for low, which is the biggest sprocket all the way up here. Now these screws are very, very important for general riding because they stop the mech going too far either way. It's important they're well adjusted, but if they're too far pushed in, it will mean you can't get into that last gear. So if that's the case, Say for example, you can't get it onto your smallest sprocket, just undo the H bolt very slightly. You might not even need too much of a turn. Again, a bit of trial and error will be needed. You pedal another turn and you'll see that it's gone in. Okay, next scenario. Your gears are going very well, but only in one direction. So you can push up the gears very nicely, but then it won't go back down very well or vice versa. Well, this probably means that you've got sticky cables. There could be various reasons. Often we get grit inside the outer cables, which means the inners just don't flow in and out very nicely. Or it could be that you've got 
a spring which is worn out here on the rear mech, or it could be that you've got a worn out chain or worn out cassette or worn out chain ring. So various things that could be the problem. Very difficult to fix this whilst you're out on the trail, but our recommendation to you would be to make sure that the gears work well on the way down to the smaller sprockets because you do have a degree of adjustment here at the front where you can just give it an extra push without actually clicking up to an extra gear and that might encourage the rear mech to push the chain into the next sprocket. Another thing which can majorly affect the indexing of your gears is if you've managed to bend your rear mech hanger somehow. Could have happened in a crash or whilst you've put your bike into the car. Either way, it's going to be difficult to fix whilst you're out, but this is again where the high and low stop screws will really be your friend. Screw them right in to make sure that the rear mech is not able to go towards the spokes. If it does and it gets caught, then the wheel can rip it completely off. So make sure that you adjust them so it's nowhere near. For the best cycling mechanical videos on the entire GCN channel, click here, or to subscribe, click on me.